I think for today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this ugly fender off and uh, we're gonna cut all of these out because I don't want that stuff. It's just heavy, useless tie down stuff. Um, so I'm gonna cut all that out. I'm gonna cut all the stuff off the rear, the fold over ramps on the rear. These are extensions. They're horribly designed and they're ugly and they're made out of 3 8 plate. They're very heavy. I'm gonna cut them off. We're gonna clean all that up. At least get the back half cleaned up. And then we'll get some small tires on this axle, uh, the tires that we're gonna run. And then we'll pull the forward axle out because I'm only gonna run two axles. And uh, we'll start cutting on the front. So let's get going. So I've got the front half of this thing cut off and I want to cut this middle section out and I'm having a really hard time with these blades. They keep getting stuck so I've got a little bit of wedge going. What I'm doing is I'm using this jack, there's two of them, one on each side to lift the front, I'm trying to get the bottom cut. I'm going to let it down I'm going to relief cut it up here and just let it fall apart, kind of hit the ground. Well, I've called in the big guns today. Can't seem to lift this piece of the trailer up. My forklift just won't lift it. I think it probably weighs about 3,500 pounds. My forklift's pretty good to about 2,500, pushing it at 3,000, but it felt like it was gonna tip over. So I called Scrapper Larry. He's got a little piggyback here with his big truck. Ultimately, it's going to his yard anyway, so I might as well just send it to him. Smile, Larry, you're on camera. Oh, Jesus. Scrapping Larry. So, we'll get that thing loaded up here in a second. He's gonna pull that little piggyback in the yard first. And uh, probably put his forklift extensions on. And then we'll uh, get her lifted up, see what we can do. Hopefully he can deal with it and I don't have to cut it in half, because uh, I don't want to cut it in half. I want to go to the scrapper. But yeah, that'll make it pretty nice, getting rid of that big section. A lot lighter. This little three-cylinder Deutz thing lifted her pretty good. Only goes up six feet like so, but he did have to put his little outrigger feet down. His feet there in the front, because uh, the back end just came right up. Doesn't have any counterweight on it though, so Works pretty good for that, really. A little telly handler, or whatever you call these things. Piggyback forklift. So now he's gonna back underneath. Yeah, so you're just gonna have to pull the truck forward and then uh, start over. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Yeah, yeah no, it's just barely on there. Oh, well. Yeah, it's way better. A little tight around here, isn't it? Yeah, a little snug. What are you doing, Rand? Rand's like I, I don't, I don't like this program going on in my yard. <laughs> So 
Oh yeah. Now all we got to do is load up all this other strap, fenders, those plates back there, all that going. Cleaning up my yard and we'll get the front tacked on and we'll be good to go. crooked in there. Maybe I need to remeasure that tread plate. I think it's a little bit long. I like it. What do you think? It's good. Your dog is like wanting a forklift ride this morning. <clears throat> All right. Well, we just got to square some things up, tack a few things. We'll put a smaller piece of tube on the side here and clean that up. And, uh, good I like it I like it when a plan comes together I got the fenders all cut off scrapper Larry got all the metal out of here so it's all out of my way yeah there we go should be should be right in about 41 feet now definitely will haul two cars maybe three three small cars two big cars probably two cars the size of my 57 and a golf cart something like that so we'll get this tacked up and uh, bring you back out and show you okay sun is going down it's the end of a productive day I uh, didn't really film a lot of this cutting and grinding that I was doing because it was hours of it But uh, here's what we got we're getting ready to take that axle out we're gonna run them rear two axles We've got the front section kind of staged up here. I, I welded some of this in here. That's the center support. I've got to get tubing for this side piece. And then I tried cutting the kingpin out, but I couldn't get it out. So I just cut a new hole, put a new kingpin in it. There's the old one cut off. But I uh, moved it back a little ways. So I'll grind this off and clean it up. But... Uh, Tomorrow we'll get tubing, we'll get these side pieces put in, and uh, finish welding across here. I've got a little hole i got to fill here, and then uh, i uh, going to cut a bunch of stuff off here. I'm going to cut all this plate off. It'll probably be a whole other day of cutting right there and grinding and cleaning. That way I can, I can pick that lower tube up and come up with it. So. I got to dig out my 10 foot aluminum ramps so I can make a new uh, compartment for them because I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to get rid of this and put the ramps up in here. That way they're not hanging down and dragging. That way I'll have a lot of, a lot of ground clearance. So tomorrow's a new day and uh, I think it's time to go get something to eat and put this project to bed. Alrighty guys and gals, Off-Road Record Games, March 9th, 10th, 11th. Visit mattsoffroadadventures.com. Tomater's gonna be there. Jimmy, where's that half-inch ranch? Right here. Gosh. By the way, you're gonna be my spotter. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, what's a spotter? <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> okay, we're back on the trailer this morning. I went to the iron store and got a piece of 2x4 eighth wall tubing we're gonna cut these side pieces here and we'll get them 
matched up with this piece here get all this tack back down start doing the reinforcements and then we'll be ready to start cutting this and put some landing gear in and then we're going to pull that front axle out so it's going to be a busy day most of it will be time lapse because it's just too hard to film this stuff individually if i come across something cool i'll show you Okay, we're back on it. Okay, okay, how do you start a video out? I don't know. Let's see if you can figure out how many times I said okay in this video. Put it in the comments, see who the winner is. Um, I've got all these things cut out so that I can bring that up. It was kind of a lot of work. There was a lot of pressure on the trailer from it being bent, so my my cold saw I would cut through and it kept getting stuck in it and breaking the teeth so I cut all of them on one side and then I torched the other side so now I got a bunch of grinding to do so I'm gonna grind all that up I did get this all welded in looks really good so the front's getting pretty solid now and then once I get that jacked back up I'm gonna cut this loose in here we're gonna have another piece come up here and tie in and that will help support the tongue but uh, right now we're going to get on the grinder and grind all these things up. We'll uh, show you when we uh, get that thing tacked back up. Good morning. I am back at it again. And uh, we got a lot of welding done yesterday. It was a really nice day. No wind. Um, working on the landing gear jacks. I went and got these at Harbor Freight. These are just a $59 replacement jack for your trailer. I'm gonna put two of them on. I've cut the handles off of them. I'm gonna weld this to the the output on this one, and uh, we'll transfer it across so they both turn the same direction. Kind of show you how I'm gonna do that. We're gonna get a cross member put in here, across to the other side. It'll also brace in the center section of the trailer, and uh, obviously another nice day. So more welding. I got a bunch of repair to do under the back. There's a bunch of broken pieces I've noticed. I want to get them welded I got to take advantage of the no wind situation right now because uh, once the wind kicks up then I'll just come out here and grind on the trailer and clean up some of the scabs but uh, I'll show you what I'm doing on these jacks pretty trick little setup we uh, have one jack sitting under here and uh, I cut the handle off here obviously the rod will go across we'll have holes in the frame there where it goes through but this one will get welded on here I uh, I'm not sure how far in I want to put it but I I kind of like where that's sitting right now show you what I did to this other jack so what we did we cut the same handle off and then we welded a stub sticking out the back but what I did was I put a half inch drive socket and what I'm going to do on this side once I get this up into position I'm going to cut a hole in the frame here, and it'll come through here, and then I'll use an extension to go through, and then I can use my, my impact on it, or I can use, I'll make me another little, little handle to turn that. And then this, I welded the rod on the outside here, that'll have a tube going across that'll actually carry the other jacks, so they'll stay in time, and they'll come up level. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think it's going to work out great. I uh, built this whole system for about 150 bucks, and normally landing gear pair jacks like that are about five to eight hundred dollars, depending on where you buy them. So that's 3,500 pound each. That should lift uh, that should lift the trailer off, even if it's loaded with cars. The cars I'm hauling, because the cars I'm hauling are light. So cool. All right, so. We are 
We got the jacks welded in. Now what we're trying to do is make room under here for the drive shafts and figure out where they're gonna go through this section of frame. I got Ren helping. Ren, what are you doing? Are you helping? Hey. So, over here on this side, it should be easier if it was upside down, but basically I've got to figure out where that goes through there. Put a hole in that. So, we'll get those holes cut and uh, get the drive shaft put on. We have invaders. It's Ed and Richard. What are you doing, buddy? Driving. We're here now. Nice. How are you, bud? Good. What the hell, man? Good, Good to see you. I've seen you a long time. This is, this is it. What do you think? Where's it at? Oh, it's inside. Yeah, it's in the garage. I uh, went to Tucson and picked this thing up. It's perfect. It was 53 feet long, Ed. It wasn't perfect when I got it. <laughs> Where'd you cut it? Right in the middle. Yeah, right in the middle. I took I took like 13 and a half feet out of the middle of it. What do you think of that? Each side separate? No, I'm gonna. I was trying to figure out where to put my hole here to go through and put a hole to uh, run a drive shaft and marry them together. All righty, we're back on it here. We got the. Uh, jacks all welded we got the crossbar in there so through this little hole that's half inch just like that raises her up and down and then you can lift the feet up and be full up make me a nice little hand crank tool for that but yeah we're coming along about ready to start doing some grinding I think the wind's gonna blow tomorrow so tomorrow will be a grinding day we're gonna grind all this stuff and clean it we got these scabs everywhere I cut the ramps out so we'll get started on putting the aluminum ramp tracks in I've got some really nice 10 foot long aluminum ramps and uh, I'm going to make the track so they're high, they don't hang down underneath. I don't like it when stuff hangs down underneath, it just gets torn off. So once we get the ramp tracks in and weld it up, then uh, we'll be uh, ready to pull that front axle and put some fenders on. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll get this old truck out and hook it onto it and see what it looks like. Getting close. Well, so it's another day, another day of no wind, so we weld. When there's no wind, we weld. When there's wind, we grind. So I'm trying to put these down braces in here. And uh, these down braces are uh, gonna stiffen the main frame. This is the main chassis of the trailer right here. This is heavy wall. These outer tubes here, they're light duty. So I'm gonna brace this, and then I'll put a triangle brace in here, tie this into the next cross member, and that'll give this all the strength right here, so we'll get these welded. still at it working on them aluminum ramps I've got a pretty good hole cut in it I've got a little bit of the slider done I'm repurposing the original sliders which is turning out to be rather difficult but it's Sunday so the metal shop is closed and I can't go get angle iron so we'll just keep pushing and uh, working on this old bent up metal and see if we can make it work. Cutting 
pretty much sums up the ramps. Got them all cut and tucked in here nice and neat. Got a little track down there. You can actually walk down the ramps now. You slide in and, out, in and out nice and easy. So that'll make for uh, loading cars pretty easy. I just got to figure out a latch lock mechanism. I want them latched and locked in so nobody really can get them out without cutting them out because they are aluminum and they're heavy and they're worth a lot of money. Somebody will probably steal them. So anyway, until we get this thing hooked on, thanks for watching.